Friday night in the spring of 1947, a small group of Marshall citizens met in a tiny house at 603 Charlotte Street with a giant purpose in mind. By the end of the night, the group would organize a new body of believers that would be known as Emanuel Baptist Church. The charter members of Emanuel moved quickly. Two days after their organizational meeting on April 13, 1947, the first Sunday in the existence of Emanuel Baptist Church, the church met for its first Sunday school and Baptist training union. The first monthly budget adopted that day was the grand total of $125, with 60 of that dedicated to the salary of IBC's first pastor, Brother Floyd H. Hoover, who was a ministerial student at East Texas Baptist College. God had provided the new fellowship with a heart for service and organization, but one thing they did not have was a church building. For the first few months, the congregation continued to meet in homes and borrowed baptistries from other churches and even held baptisms in area ponds, weather permitting. Emmanuel's first physical church building was realized in July 1947 when the congregation borrowed $1,500 and began to construct its first worship center. Brother Hoover, the pastor, lived across the street with his wife, Jo, to keep an eye on things while also working at the A&P grocery and raising cows and chickens in their backyard to supplement their needs. By 1950, God provided enough funds to allow the church to add much needed classroom space, restrooms, and a baptistry. All through the difficult times, the church continued to trust God and he in turn provided blessings. IBC slowly grew in membership and the congregation grew closer to God and each other as the years went by. IBC continued to experience incremental growth through the 1950s and into the 1960s. The next few years, however, brought trying times to Emmanuel. In May 1971, IBC's bank balance stood at less than $700. BGCT representatives and some area pastors advised Emmanuel to disband and unite with other local congregations. But the tiny remnant continued to remember its church's name, God with us, and refused to believe that God had abandoned them. In February 1972, the people called Brother Wayne Cooley as pastor. Brother Wayne was a young, energetic church builder with a natural enthusiasm that was contagious. Under his leadership, Emmanuel began to grow again. New programs and organizations within the church were started, including the Happiness Choir, which was a combination of youth and children's choirs that had a charter membership of 15. Happiness Choir was, for all intents and purposes, the forerunner of what Emmanuel enjoys today with our children's choir program and resonate, the IBC Youth Choir. We just wore different attire, of course. It was the 70s, after all. Emmanuel began to pray for God to reveal his plan for growth and expansion for its ministries. One day, as he was driving around, Brother Wayne located a vacant lot less than two miles south of the original church site. It was a pasture of undeveloped, unimpressive earth that lay on a hill in the curve of a major highway. This piece of land, however, became the vision for the future site of Emmanuel Baptist Church and the pastor challenged the small but faithful congregation of about 12 families to purchase the land and build a new church facility. That faith was rewarded on February the 3rd, 1974, when IBC's congregation attended the first service in their beautiful new church sanctuary located at 2408 West Pinecrest Drive. The church added classroom space, a fellowship hall, and a kitchen in 1978. By 1981, enrollment in the church had risen to 440. Brother Don Perkins, who had succeeded Brother Wayne Cooley as pastor in 1977, accepted a call to pastor Bethel Baptist Church in Kilgore in October 1981. A search committee was formed to seek out God's next pastor for Emmanuel, and the committee was led to a young man from Hooks, Texas, who was serving as a youth director and had never had a pastorate. On February the 7th, 1982, that young man, Brother Carlton Burris, was called to serve as Emmanuel's 10th pastor. No one in the church that day including the new pastor himself, could have predicted what God had in store for IBC, as Brother Carlton would serve as Emmanuel's pastor for the next 35 years. Emmanuel quickly began to grow in both numbers and ministries as God began to move through the young pastor's leadership and a church congregation that was hungry to serve. Through a series of events that could only be orchestrated by God himself, the church was able to acquire surrounding property and set the stage for future expansion. In April 1985, Emmanuel held a week-long tent revival on a cleared tract of land just to the northeast of the original property. The tent was erected on the very spot where Emmanuel's future worship center would be built. The church broke ground on a new facility on Mother's Day 1988. On Easter Sunday 1990, Emmanuel held its first service in a new 500 capacity worship center. A congregation of over 350 sat on folding metal chairs with a bare concrete floor beneath them. There have been several additions and upgrades over the years, 
But the building in which we now worship our Lord and Savior every week is the end result of decades of faithful prayer, giving, and belief that, indeed, God is with us. Our past is filled with memories of God's faithfulness and His work through both leaders and laymen. All that Emmanuel Baptist Church has been, continues to be, and prays to be in the future is the work of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, who has been with us through every trial and every victory. One thing never changes at Emmanuel Baptist Church. We remain committed to walk with our Lord, to seek His face and His will for our fellowship. That's the legacy of our church forefathers, and it's a legacy we all seek to uphold. Emmanuel Baptist Church, God with us.